Hi everyone, welcome to our channel today. We're going to talk about how we got ready for our new puppy to come home and stay tuned to see all the different milestones he hits and as he develops and grows with our family. So we ended up going with this brand called iCrate that we picked up at PetSmart and it works fabulously for Bean. It was very easy to assemble as you can see Nobredo and Little Breslin are making it comfy. Finally, we see Bean actually likes it. We put in a cute little bed for him to make it his own little den so he can have comfort because Bean was literally coming from his mom with her four other puppies. So we wanted to give him a sense of comfort and shelter. And that's exactly what this crate was able to provide for him. He's super small on it when he's little and it was perfect for crate training. Wow, okay, so Bean is now home. Everyone's getting to know Bean. He's the cutest thing ever. And we are just so infatuated with him. And you can see him getting introduced to different areas of the house. He got to meet our family. And it was really awesome when he first came home because he was just so new and so soft and so little. And here's his very first time learning how to bark. It's so funny. So we actually ended up trying out about four or five different kind of beds for Bean. We got him this open one that's more like his medium sized bed. Then he ended up getting a much smaller like honeycomb sized bed and then he got a bigger plush sized bed. So as you see in the videos, he ends up gravitating more towards that really nice gray plush bed. And I'm going to actually point that out as we start going through the videos more. And you guys can tell me what you think and what works for your pet. I would love to hear it. To do, he's new. He's gonna get comfortable with everybody. Pet him slowly and softly. Okay. Say hi, mommy. Hi, mommy. Now you're. So when Bean first came home, he used to sleep a lot. And this bed right here is actually the one, this plush one that he's laying on. He loved it so much, and he uses it still today. So this is actually one of Bean's very first trainings for obedience. He's just learning the very simple command of sit and stay. And he's being rewarded with his treats. And let me tell you, he is super duper food motivated. So we were able to do a lot of great training because of his treats. So Bean was doing really well with the training. He responds very well to like a stern monotone. But if you're very cheery and you're like, oh my god, hi, Bean, like he gets very excited, as you guys will see when we greet him. Another really important thing that our family kept doing was like constantly saying his name to him. And he was able to really pick up on, hey, I'm Bean. And he would come all the time when we would just call his name. Good boy. Down. 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 Good boy, you down, yeah. Okay, sit, sit, good boy. Down, 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 down. Good boy, down, uh -uh. sit. Down, down, down. Down. Good boy. I gotta get you. So a really good thing about him being a puppy and us having small kids Water. is that the puppy and the small kids can match the energy of each other. And that was something that we quickly saw as like a huge plus because everyone had the same kind of playtime schedule versus resting schedule and it really was a win-win. We also tried different toys for Bean. We got squeaker plastic toys, we got soft crunchy toys, we got plush toys. And as he's gotten older, we saw that he was drawn a lot towards balls and he would love to go fetch a ball. So then he learned the word ball and now that's one of his favorite playtimes. So another fun thing we did with our new puppy was we used to try to put on clothes for him. And he actually became very great about wearing clothes. Um, and it was necessary for where we live. We live in the Northeast region and it's very cold here. And he does not actually have fur. He has hair. So keeping him warm was a must. Especially because he was going on walks. He was leash training. He would go run out in the yard. So we definitely kept him warm. Okay, so these are just some of the photos of him with his coat and his wonderful harness, but he outgrew that harness. So we had to order another one, which was ordered on PetSmart uh, by a company called Papilla, and I can attach that. So 
So we took Bean with us one day to go take our family photos, and it actually worked out pretty well. He was pretty well in a, the studio. Um, everybody wanted to play with him. They were like, he's so cute. And it was fun because we took several shots with him. The kids had a great time, and it was just really fun, something I would totally do again with him. Here are some candid photos of Bean with Aria playing outside and I think I also included just some photos of him just hanging around the house, just being usual Bean. He's always with somebody. He does not like being in rooms by himself and he wants your attention. Like if you don't look at Bean, oh he barks. So here's one of Bean's infamous moments of barking at me because I'm not petting him or playing with him and he's just so clingy sometimes, but we love him. Stay tuned for more updates. Thanks for watching.